Ciao friends! In this unplugged video we will see how I replied to a question I received about a problem in a DAX formula. The DAX measure is a measure that computes the sales amount of the previous date for the same kind of transaction. For example, if you select a product, you want to see the sales amount of a day and the sales amount of a previous date where the same product has been bought by a customer, in a store, whatever selection has been made in the report should be included in the definition of the same filter applied to the previous date. So it cannot be yesterday, it could be two days ago, three, it could be yesterday, but it could be also one month before. Uh, a few products don't, are not sold every day. Now we will see how the formula is written, but the problem was that the formula didn't work well as soon as the user selected a day of week. So we will see why the selection of the day of the week or whatever selection that is below the month granularity can break the behavior of a formula that has a time intelligence function in DAX or in this case, a formula that has been written with the assumption that everything would have worked well by just filtering the date column in the date table. Let's start with the demo. So let's start with the existing reports where we have a formula that works in many cases, but not in the case in case uh, we have a selection for the day of the week. So first of all, let's see how it works. You see that we have a measure that I will comment in a moment, which is sales previous date, which shows the sales of the previous date with sales for the current selection. Now you still see many consecutive days days here, but if I select a single product name, for example, this one, you see that the gap between different purchases could be much wider. So there are a few uh, days or a few weeks or a few months between two transactions, depending on the product we selected. The same could happen for the customer and so on. As soon as we select a day of the week, the formula is uh, sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. For example, let's see if I can uh, find uh, an example like this one. If you look at the data, you see that we see numbers, but th these numbers don't make much sense. For example, the sales amount of the 20th of December is uh, this number. The previous date of the um, 1st of August 2018 is a completely different number. And the difference is that because we selected the, a single uh, day of the week, the expectation based on uh, the behavior of the, of the measure was that I would have seen the the sales of the previous date within the same visualization. But something is not working as we expect. So this is the problem we have to solve and fix. So let's start taking a look at the measure that we have. So sales previous date is the calculation that actually provides the number we have seen that works until we select a single day of the week. This measure has a, uh, first check that uh, make sure that we have data for the selected date just to avoid uh, an expensive calculation in case this is not required. If we have some data in the selected date, then we retrieve the first date of the current selection, hopefully only one day, but in case you have a month, you will get the previous date before the first day of the month with sales. And then we compute the previous date with sales in this variable. We'll see this in a moment. The result of this is the previous date that is applied as a filter to the date column of the date table. Now, when you apply a, a filter over the date column of the date table, any other filter over the date table is actually removed. And this is one of the reasons we have the problem. So let's see what is happening at this point. So how did we compute the previous date with sales? Well, the calculate retrieves the last date in the order date column of the sales table, so not in the date table, but in the sales table, the last date that it has an order in the current filter context, just changing the filter over the date column of the date table. So if you think about that, the expectation is that because we are filtering all the previous dates, we retrieve the first uh, transaction with uh, the, um, the sales. And it works. We, we actually see that this approach works when we don't select a day of the week. So if I select any single product, you see that the numbers always match the previous row in the visual. So why the day of the week doesn't work? So let's try again to select a date. And for example, we get 
let's see another better problem, but this one is good. So let's try to examine what is happening now. So we have a situation where for the February 11, 2019, we have a previous date of 43996. But we know that we would like to see this other number. Okay, so these are the two. So remember the date, uh, November 20th and uh, February 11th. So now if I remove the selection from the day of the week, you see that we still have November 20th, but before reaching the date that we have seen before, we have other dates. We have this uh, uh, 12, um, 20th of December. Let me restore Monday. We have February in 2019. So we have to go through many, many days in 2018 before reaching the date that we want. And if you look at what is happening, look at the number. The number we have in this cell is actually the number we have in the previous date, ignoring the day of the week selection, which is actually what is happening. So if we look at the measure again, the first issue we have is that when we apply this filter, what happens in the filter contest? Well, we have a filter, all date, date. So this is the equivalent code that is generated automatically when you have a predicate, a condition, a filter condition in Calculate. A filter is a table, and so this is the code that generates the table that is applied as a filter there. But it's still a column, so it doesn't touch the day of the week. However, every time you apply a filter over the date column of a date table, and remember, the date column of the date table is marked with this icon here, so we have the mark as date table applied, or when the column date is in a one-to-many relationship. So even though you forget to apply the mark as date table, you will still have this behavior. The filter over the entire table date is removed when you apply a filter over the date column of a date table or over a column of date type that has a one-to-many relationship with other tables. In other words, whenever we have a filter over this column, a uh, remove filters date is automatically applied to the calculate. Now, if you look at code now, you should see the problem. The problem is the following. If we remove the filter from the date table, we also remove the filter from day of week slicer. We, we, we have a slicer where we selected the day of the week. So if we select a Monday, this Monday selection disappears. And if this disappears, guess what? The date that we retrieve is the date that ignores that filter. So the first thing we have to do, we have to try to ignore this. Actually, we want to remove the filters, but we don't want to remove the filter from all the columns. We want to keep the filter in day of week, maybe day of week number. How can we do that? So the problem in this case is that we cannot change the behavior of this automatic filter. So whenever, because we, are, we want to do this, we want to, re, we, sorry, we want to filter, let's go back to the measure. We want to filter the, the dates before the previous day in the filter context. This is what we want to do. We don't want to lose the filter over day of week, but in order to avoid this remove filter, what we should do is uh, to filter another column. At this point, we have several options. One option could be if we had another column with a date that is not connected to anything, we could filter the date. If we had a column with a sequential number, we could filter that number instead of the date. But because we know that, I don't want to change the, the model just for this problem, I know that actually the date I need is still in states. So what I could do is that, okay, instead of getting, instead of filtering this date, I could filter sales order date. Okay, so let's try to filter sales order date. Now, if I use fi sales filter, uh, sorry, sales order date here, remove filter is not applied. Of course, the, the filter I have now is just to explain what is happening behind the cover. But if I do this, what happens? I filter sales order date. I don't filter, um, I, sorry, I don't change the filter over date. So because I'm filtering one day, that filter will still be there. If I try to use this measure, probably it doesn't work. It's always blank or something like that. You see, always blank because I still have the filter over this date. I 
add another filter to the filter context and the, the, the result is that I'm not filtering anything because I filter two different dates at the same time, the result is blank. However, I could remove the filter intentionally from the date table. But if I do remove filter date, of course, I'm back to square one. I, I will get the same result, right? So this is not what we want to do. If I try this, I can show you that the result is still wrong. So what we want to do, we want to remove the filter from all the columns of the date table, but we want to keep the filter in day of week and day of week number. And we have a function to do that, which is all except. We want to remove the filter from all the columns of the date table, but we want to keep day of week and day of week number. And maybe day of week short. So whatever filter is, is uh, required to be kept in the filter context based on the algorithm that you want to implement. If I do this, now what is happening? I remove the filter from date, year, month, but not day of week, and I will apply the filter over order date. I can remove this at this point. This is not needed because actually this is code that is automatically generated for me, so I don't have to write it, and I can apply the filter this way. I click this, and I go back to my visualization. Problem solved. You see that now the number we have in the sales previous days is the same number we have for uh, the previous day in the visualization. So actually this fixes the problem. And let me try just to double check that if I go to other dates, uh, sorry, to other day of the week or to other products, this is still working. So everything is working fine. And remember, let me, let me show this again. The trick was to use all except but I cannot use all except if I apply a filter over the date column of the date table, which is why it could be difficult to use this technique with the standard time intelligence functions. So if you want to know more about that, I can give you some pointer. First of all, we have in DAXPatterns.com several patterns for time intelligence calculation. In the, there are four different patterns. The first one is about standard time related calculation which means we use the standard time intelligence functions we have in DAX, like dates month to date, dates year to date. But these functions internally, so if I highlight this function, dates month to date internally will be a filter over the date column of the date table. And because that filter, remove the filter from any other column, guess what? If you had day of week, these functions don't work. They, this function will ignore your filter over the day of the week and, and have the same problem. For this reason, because we cannot actually use this function in an effective way if we want to go below the, the month granularity in uh, the time intelligence calculation, then we have another pattern, which is the custom time-related calculation, which shows how to obtain the same calculation you have in the standard time intelligence function in DAX implemented in DAX without using the DAX time intelligence function, but using other approaches that give you the freedom, like in this case, to use all except whenever it is needed. More details in the article to explain how this works. If you want to know more and you want to see how internally the time intelligence functions work, we also have a, a video that is part of SQL BI Plus, which is a, a subscription that uh, is a commercial subscription for our services that explain how these uh, time intel the standard time intelligence functions work in DAX and go deeper in uh, analyzing this problem in a more detailed way. So we have seen that, as usual, you have to know the filter contest well in order to fix problems you might have in formulas in DAX. Uh, we have seen that in DAXPatterns.com we have a lot of formulas ready to use for many uses, but in the case that we described in this unplugged video, we had to know how the filter contest works in order to fix a formula that uh, was a not standard formula that we can find in DAXPatterns. I hope that this uh, helped you to understand better how DAX uh, works, how the filter contest works, uh, and as usual, enjoy DAX! Mm -hmm.